right, so let's have a look. So I've got the caravan, so I've got it home now. So we've got it on the driveway and we've done this by using the motor mover, um, which is an incredible piece of product. If you're into caravan, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm learning very, very quick on the life of caravanners. So let's have a look around and let's have a look in it. It's 10 years old and it's called a Lunar Clubman and it's a Lunar Clubman SI. So this is it from the outside. And then you've got to step up. You can't believe how much these are. They threw it in, but they're like 30 quid. Um, so this is it. <laughs> and um, the mattress looks absolutely filthy, but that's it wasn't like that when I picked it up. Um, I'll show you in a minute. It's got loads of flies and stuff. It must have uh, come down from the, the hatch um, when we were driving. So let's have a look at the seating area first of all. They had um, some really colourful throws over them, but I'm actually going to leave it plain. I had some really good ideas for this caravan, but I'm not actually going to do them all yet. And there is a reason for that. So what I'm just going to do is spruce it up as it is. So these are the settee and these are the pillows. So, um, and the, the curtains. And then of course they've got blinds going down. Um, and then you've got a drawer that pulls out. This top pulls out to make a table. And then in here, you can actually make a bigger extending table if you really wanted to sit down. Now, this is a four berth caravan. So this actually turns into um, another double bed and you pull that out all along. And then what you do is you flip these, um, these cushions over and then you don't sleep that to that. You sleep head to toe or toe to uh, head or head to toe or toe head to toe does that make sense so this is the kitchen but this is broken so there's um, a piece of uh, black glass that's actually broken so what we're going to do is we're going to have a template cut um, because I want that cover and I don't want a bare sink on show um, and obviously as well that the top of the panel of the sink can also be not your chopping board because you put a chopping board on top of it but this can be an area where you can prepare food this is the oven but i won't be using that unless i'm with gary that's what i'm going to be using because i'll be using jane plan this is your fridge in fact i'm going to leave it open for it to air whilst it's not being used because that's a good idea to do with your caravan and um, there's not, an, not a, n enough space. I bought some Joseph Joseph like cutlery things to go in drawers, but not even they fit. There's hardly any space to put anything in there. Um, so that's your kitchen area. Um, and then obviously it's got a blind there that you pull down. Then we're looking at a drinks cabinet, which Gary's going to mend because it's a, coming out a bit at the side. We are looking at a 10-year-old caravan here. So um, I know that if you've got a caravan, it's probably a little bit um, younger than this. Um, and then I think I'm going to use this for my utensils drawer. Um, I might even use that for my knives and forks actually as well. Um, so let's see. I don't know yet. <laughs> and then of course this as well. We've got this here and oh well that's the wheel <laughs> behind me well of course you can expect we've got the sporty awning as well but we haven't put that up so we need to know how that works mattress i'm going to get a new one um we've got uh, the curtains that i'm going to clean these are the wardrobes things above the head I'm gonna, i've got an electrician coming to look at the lights because i want led lights in here and i want them all to match at the moment some of them are warm white some of them are cool white and that irritates me um you've also got a shower um and you've got a light in the shower that will come on so you just flip that flip that on when you're having a shower it's really quite powerful and we even have underneath the bed which they've put in with this you can see you've got the aqua roller and i think they call that the waste master anybody with caravanning uh, skills will know what i'm talking about so i'm about to order the new mattress today and um, this mirror i want coming off i don't like the shape of it so i'm going to order a new mirror and then in here i wanted to really tart this up uh, but because of the circumstances um, which I'll go into a little bit later. I don't think I'm going to be able to do. Um, so I just think that is an absolute waste. What the heck can you put up there? I can't stand things on show. So I don't want like my toothbrush. I don't like that. I don't like toothbrushes on show. So that's got to go. Um, the toilet I've ordered. Um, so the toilet is a Thetford, but you get a cassette that's outside. So I've ordered a new cassette. And if you order that with Thetford, then a new toilet seat. So we'll have that. That's all going to be brand new. Um, this is the sink, um, but I just wish it was white rather than cream. And um, obviously the uh, running water and um, the plug um and then you've got uh you've got a little bit of room underneath there for your toiletries and um this is your uh 
hot shower rail but I'm speaking to a plumber because I want a ladder rail but I don't know whether it's going to be able to be done and I also want a cabinet in the corner here that you can open that's got a, a, a mirror on it so we've got more space so this could go and then I've also ordered um uh, attachable things for the wall for your so soap because if you think about it there's no real way to put your soap here if it goes there it's going to be in the way if it goes here it's going to end up on the floor so I just want it all tidy um, and then those are going to come out I never have carpet in the bathroom I'd never do that because obviously it is dirty your toilet roll is there uh, and also that closes so if you're in the bedroom you're actually closed to everybody else does that make sense so if they're in there and that's on show you can actually close that keep these down so you can actually get changed in here although there's not a lot of room to get changed but it, you know it, it, it is brilliant for what it is uh, extractor fan but i've got a valeting guy coming on thursday he's going to be valeting it all inside and out um so and then you've got the cupboards above um, you've got a radio and CD player because it's that old <laughs> and so you've got plenty of room and then in here this is the space for you to put and I've ordered melamine because I don't want to take real crockery if it were up and down on the road but it's quite cool what I've ordered oh look at dolls it's quite we're going to take the dogs with us as well so and then I've also ordered plastic glasses but I might actually yeah. think about taking some crockery when we go away because I'm a bit funny about that and then of course you've got the electric hookup that we've got we We've also got battery and we've got gas so that's it that's it inside you're thinking Frankie Jack are you excited he's very excited as well just be careful with it you're a good girl she's a good girl just be careful with it Frankie Jack because you've got her on, a, on your on her back so yeah that's it in, in a nutshell so that's coming out today the carpets are coming out today because I'm getting new carpet new toilet new mattress and then of course i'm just going to spruce it up um what i want to do what i want to do with it we're gonna go, yeah we're gonna have new carpets in here as well yeah there's a man that's gonna do it so there we go that that's all our caravan thumbs up or thumbs down thumbs up <laughs> um anyway uh love you lots thank you so much for watching don't forget to give us a thumbs up <laughs> and don't forget um, to also hit that subscribe button we would love to have you on board let's hear what um, Gary has to say about a caravan very nonplussed <laughs> he's not excited about it at all he doesn't want to go away he's not a caravaner he doesn't want the caravan he certainly doesn't want to go away in it or know if he's in a driveway but he's going to and he's going to have to get used to it I don't know whether you're a fussy person like me but I've just taken the first pillow out and it's breaking because obviously it's quite old I've washed the cushions and look at the state of them oh this has come off them and it's all on the inside you have to excuse me we've just done big shops today and uh, but I'm just putting them down now and look at everything that's coming off and it's on the inside of it gosh it's absolutely and then these haven't come up so good either they've come up plucked on the other side but if I show you the inside of this is unbelievable so I'm just cutting them now this is in between doing everything to it so um what have we done today so i've taken some of the curtains down i've taken some of the cushion covers off to clean and wash yeah so i've taken the cushions off which i was actually going to keep but now i'm not because i put them through the wash and you can't see it on this one because this one hasn't been but it's just basically ruined all this material so that's got to go in the bin now so i want the headboard now to come off and i want to reupholster that these curtains have got to come off this bed's going so my new one has been ordered all the carpets have come up so there's little, little bits of um maybe sort of uh sellotape -y. did the lady that had it before um it's a bit uh, sandy as well it's like they've been on the beach near here and cleaned outside and you can tell he's this guy's a car cleaner because all the seals have been done so he's done a really really good job um now just a few bits underneath the sofa that I just want to go over but the sofa's been taken out I need to go through all the paperwork there all the curtains are, have come off so you can see it's a real blank canvas at the moment I've just put some of my smellies there's no damp in here at all that's been checked on um because obviously when you're go going to buy a caravan you've got to be careful that somebody puts smelly things in there to disguise the smell we're taking the headboard off and um, Gary's putting together oh these are the lights Gary these are the lights that were up 
also I've had new lights put up that are now warm white because these were cool white and these were warm white and these were warm white so it didn't match. Um, the radiator's coming off. This is um, hand soap um, holders. I'm having a new tap put on because you can see there's a lot of lime scale there. Um, there's been some new gas struts put in this. We've now thrown the old mattress away. All the curtains have come down. And Gary's now taking, because this is awful, this is so old fashioned, so we're taking this off um, to see if it um, shows really bad holes. So I've got the shower has been cleaned and I've bought these, but I'll show you that when it's all being done up, when I've done it up. So at the moment it's just a carcass that's been cleaned, just a couple of areas underneath there that need done. Paperwork sending out. What the heck have you done? You've done that. You've oh, so it. sorry sweetheart. Sorry, um, and that's the aqua roll and the waste master that um, I just need to do a bit of work with as well. I bought. Oh, you can shut it now. Okay, um, you've got to be careful when you shut it as well because it slams. Um, the aqua roll, um, you're meant to put aqua tabs in, so I did a bit of reading up on that last night, so I bought some of those. Um, so we're just measuring this up because there's a guy doing a new sofa. I've eventually decided to go with it because I, it was just giving me nightmares being on a sofa that was 10 years old. I know I'm fussy. Um, and then a friend of mine's doing the curtains. If any of you watch Create and Craft, you will know which is called Sarah. So I'm looking forward to seeing those done. So we've got to go and pick the material this morning. And we're going to see what this looks like as well with Gary on doing it. And it is a bit chilly in here. Oh, that's not so bad, is it? I can hide them. can hide those. I think that's a lot better, do you? Mm. Off and put... Um... So, have you noticed what screws they're putting in and how fine they are? Yeah. Are they fine screws? Track yeah, but I, yeah, we're not going to have. We're going to have the eyelet, aren't we? Yeah. Eyelet curtains. Mm -hmm. So... You can see, but if I put the curtain rail sort of there, that, that's where your curtain rail would go, isn't it, Gary, there? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Then your curtain's going to come up, so you're not going to see these, and it's going to come down this side, so you're not actually going to see these. So I'm getting rid. And if we go away before my curtains are made... Oh, that's coming away from the wall. There's a screw missing there. Gary, look. Look. You see? So we can just live with this until the curtains are in. Oh, that's really bad. Has that broken, do you think? God, it looks a bit mucky down there as well, doesn't it? Anyway. So he's taking these off. We've had the Aldi heating system done again as well. So they've it's now pink liquid. So you've got to make sure that your pink liquid, and once you've had it changed, you then don't need to have it changed for five years. So today we've been putting up the awning. So you get this, we've got this awning with the um, caravan, which we're really, really chuffed with that. And it's inflated with a pump. So we've put it up and um, what I want, oh, wasp in the way. What I wanted to do was dettle it inside to make sure that it was all done. Um, and then you can just peg it up and you've got a place to be able to sit out. If you want people to sleep in them, you've actually got to buy extra pods to go in them. And obviously these are windows, but you can cover these up. Um, there's inside, but I wanted to clean everything. There's sort of inside, um, you know, window, whatever you call them, blinds that cover it up. And then that's the door, that's the door. Uh, there's quite a lot of room and we got a blanket that goes on the ground that's allowing you to be able to, that's a load of stuff out of there, which I'm just about to clean. Um, we're just gonna clean this as well and put it out on the front lawn because it's sunny today. So letting it dry and just trying to get everything clean um, and on top of um, before we go out for a bike ride today. So again, it's a bit of a mess inside the caravan. Um, stuff's been taken apart um and we've got stuff to be fitted gary's checked the gas today and that works okay although it has been in for a service so obviously they've checked it um yeah so all looking good i've also bought this to go in the van but i'll be talking about that as we go on okay so i've got this today which is the new um sink plug and i've gone to put that in and it's broken this away so is that an easy fix um, is that a problem? So yeah, the waste pipe has come away from the sink. 
As you know, I really wanted to show you when the curtains had been done. Um, however, a friend of mine is doing them for a favour for me and she is incredibly busy because we're running up to Christmas. Um, so, uh, and I know I've had so many messages about looking at this um, inside. So I'm going to have to show you without the curtains. So here is the tour of what I've done so far to the caravan. So here is a tour of what I'm living in on the car park at work to stay safe because of COVID. I made a little display on top of the oven because I'm not using it with flameless candles. Um, I've also got a little bit of a decoration that I put on the wall. The kettle and toaster are superb. They were from Aldi, collection during the summer. The Buddha is from HomeSense. Um, I'm so looking forward to getting the curtains. I put some really great glasses in here. Um, I've got plastic and I've also got um, real glass as well to use. I've got a beautiful clock, an elephant, another piece that was on the wall um, to bring those botanicals into the caravan. And um, I did my bed up. So I got a, a, a lovely mattress, but I, then I got a mattress topper that was memory foam. And you had to get one that was an island. And then my bedding is by Kylie Minogue. My cushions are from, I think it was the range and B&M. And then the bronze one is actually from uh, Kylie Minogue's collection. And then I had these shampoo and conditioners all matching made from a girl on eBay. Um, my mustard towels and, uh, oh, that was from, the bathroom was from B&M. Um, I think my towels, oh, my towels were from Primark. They're really good. They're the top end luxury ones from Primark and I highly recommend them. I also have them in the house but in a different colour. Um, I made a fixture of fittings on the side to put the molten brown in lemon so I had hand soap there. I put the little towels in and I put a star and some love hearts just trying to jazz it up a bit and make it look um, a little bit more homely in there. And then, of course, I had new re-up holster on the settee as well. The guy that did it is absolutely incredible. I'm going to leave his details below for you. He's called Jack. He was amazing. He also did my headboard for me. And the pillows were from Dunelm and eBay that are on the sofa. So that's it. The gentleman that did my sofa did such a good job. It's a really, really lovely colour. I cho chose a fabric and then he made it and I love it. These are from Dunelm. This was from the range and then I had to get another one from eBay. And then I also got this really beautiful throw from the range as well that goes over. So if I get a little bit chilly but I want to sit on the sofa at night time, I can do. But I cannot recommend the reupholster guy enough. I'm also going to show you the, the um, a headboard in the bedroom that he did. He is incredible. He's called Jack and uh, I'm not kidding you. You want to come from far and wide to use him. Great great prices great job and turned it around like that so let me just quickly show you the headboard that he did and he's made such a good job and you can see it matches beautifully with um, the Kylie Minogue bedding that I got to go on here. I've also got some teddy bear fleece to go on um, for when we get a little bit colder and um, and I've also got some brush cotton so I got three lots of bedding so I can turn it around just in case I, I end up leaving um, some at home. Um, I've always got bedding for down here. My friend Steve did the carpets as well and um, I love this colour. It's like a greige so it matches beautifully with the, um, with the sofa. Um, and I'll leave his details in the description below. He has his own carpet shop and he took the carpet and then had it cut identically and then had it bound around the edges as well. Thanks very much for watching as always. Hope you've enjoyed it. Really excited for when the curtains come. We've got the poles fitted now. Those are going to be eyelets on there. But I tend to, because it's in the car park, I tend to leave my shutters down all the time anyway. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Any tips or tricks for caravanning, uh, do let me know. In the new year, I'm obviously going to be showing you um, how I clean down before I leave every week and how I set up. I'll do all that in the new year. Um, yes, I hope you've enjoyed. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. That means the world. And it also also means the world to subscribe i would love to have you part of my youtube family or our youtube family as as a family um it would be lovely to have you on board i'll see you later thanks for watching see you on the next vlog